What's up, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to uninstall updates for Windows 11. This isn't just going to focus on that, it's also a bit of an update guide. In the latest release of the dev version of Windows 11, there are very obvious signs of the old control panel going away. Now, of course, you're probably much more familiar with this window over here than you are the settings window. And if you're like me, you actually prefer this. I'm pretty sure the majority of people do prefer this. You will have noticed that if you're on the latest version of Windows 11 in the development branch, the Windows Insider branches, you'll see that when you click uninstall a program, instead of opening this window here, it instead opens up this screen over here in apps and features. This may be a surprise to you, but this new settings window over here has slowly become more and more of a replacement for the control panel over here. And the only reason that both of these exist is that you can do some things in here that you can't do in the other settings window. This of course will change over time until this has all the features that the old control panel has, and that eventually this is removed from Windows and Entirely. A bit of a shock, but if you're used to uninstalling updates by clicking uninstall a program, then view installed updates in the top right, you'll see them here. You'll notice that, well, obviously you can't get here. How do you uninstall specific updates? Well, the answer is pretty simple. When you click uninstall a program, you'll be taken across to this page here. There are no options to get to Windows updates here. Instead, they're in a more intuitive place. Go to Windows Update, wait for it to load, scroll down and click Update History, then scroll down once again and click Uninstall Updates at the very bottom. Now, of course, in this version of Windows here, that isn't the development branch, it opens up this screen here as it does before, but instead you'll be able to select from a list and uninstall specific updates which is, of course, going to eventually trickle down from the development branch to other insider branches and eventually to the full, normal, stable version of Windows 11 that everyone's going to have. So obviously, this video may not make too much sense to make now, but it is more of an announcement that this is the beginning of the end for the Windows control panel. It'll be replaced by the settings window. And of course, when this change does eventually trickle down to everyone, here's a guide on how to do it. So a bit of a bittersweet video if you're like me and you prefer the old control panel, but of course, if you came here searching for a question, you now have the answer. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.